Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for stopping in today. We have an exciting unboxing to get into coming in from Vostid Knives. Massive shout out to them for sending this in for us to take a look at. While we rip this thing open, make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I release daily knife and EDC content and hit that thumbs up button for me. That really helps push these videos out there so more people have a chance to check them out and let everyone know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments love seeing what you guys have for your edc so we got a big old package here from vastid and let's start with this thing here look at this and i had no idea that i knew vastid made some different products but i had no idea that they made something such as this here and what this is I would, this is what I would call a premium knife carry case right here. This thing is no joke. Look at that. And they include a hook here. We have a little J hook here so you can hang it up. We have a couple of lashing holes as well so you can throw some screws up and mount this to the wall. You also have a zipper compartment there. Now, I don't know how many this holds. It looks like two, three, four. So there's five, 10, 15 slots. And you will be able to see each knife in there. It's not like they are they're going to slide right in here. And you'll be able to see a little bit of the knife here. This is really well made. And I'll have this link down below in the description. But if you're looking for a convenient way to maybe take some knives with you on a trip or just store knives maybe uh, in your house or in your room, maybe you have a certain you know set of knives you want to put in something like this, this is kind of a, a, a really good way to store a couple of knives. And I've used things like this countless times to transport knives uh, on vacation or going on various trips or whatever and I want to take more than a couple of knives with me I always take something like this but not quite on this level here this has a nice carry handle here they throw a RE patch in there for you very very nice and very well done so let's get to the knife here this is something that we have not checked out yet. And surprisingly, I know there's some out there. There has to be. But uh, somehow, some way, I missed out on checking one of these out. And we are about to scope this thing out. I'm really excited about this one. Because this is the newest iteration of the Vostid Mink here. Now, before we go too crazy into the knife, this is going to be geared more for outdoor excursions. So, not necessarily. Could you EDC this? Definitely. You definitely could. But this is going to be more of a companion blade. So, meaning an outdoor knife, whether it's hiking, camping, that sort of thing. That is what this is geared more for from Vostid. And they include a textile lock here, which you can use this to carry it vertically on the belt or use it horizontally to carry this on the belt. Plenty of different lashing points. And then they give you a nice long one here. This would fit an Alti clip on it. You could throw some scout straps on this. So there are, there's a bunch of different ways you can mount your carry option to that sheath, which is something we, we definitely want to look for when we're buying a fixed blade. Options is the key. Now we are looking at Nitro V steel, which is going to be a fine steel, especially in the price point for these knives. We're looking at under 80 bucks for this knife right here. And to come in Nitro V with my Carta, that is a very, very solid offering from Vostid. Now, 
another role that I think this would fill very well is going to be in the kitchen. Uh, this might make a very good kitchen knife. Now, that's something that I'll have to kind of test out on my own, but I think this might make a decent kitchen knife as well. Nitro V is a very stainless steel. It's up there with 154 CM, AEBL. Uh, it's, it's up there with the likes of a lot of good stainless steel. So is it the most stainless steel that there is or the most corrosion uh, proof steel that there is? No, but it's going to do a pretty good job with just a very little bit of care. Now, and that's another thing that makes me think this is going to be a good kitchen knife. Look how thin this blade stock is. So this is going to make, I think, a very good slicer. We'll check that edge and see what it's hitting for. We have two rows of separate jimping here, which is very, very nice for a standard grip. Or if you really need to get up on this thing, get into something, or you can even use that with the pointer finger as well. So I like that a lot. It would have been even better if they included some jimping up here on this slant. That would have, I mean, not that it's needed, but just, like, you know, little touches, little touches. But I, I like that, you know, they didn't just stop here with this first row. They give us a nice second row there. As far as our sharpening choil goes, um, it looks pretty pretty good and you know you can always notch in more if you need to it looks pretty decent though plunges back here you have that nice little sharpening choil there so you'll get some nice life out of this blade and then we have squared or I don't want to make anyone angry but fragged micarta here uh it, it looks fragged to me um but I've been told this is not frag so okay but uh, frag micarta, and then we have a nice stonewash finish on that blade there. So let's see what kind of size we're looking at here. For total blade length, or total edge length, I'm sorry, three and three quarter, and four and a quarter for total, and then eight inches overall. So this is a very carryable size when it comes to an EDC fixed blade about eight eight and a quarter that's about the most I would want to go personally for a true EDC now this knife would be so much better off now that's why I mentioned at the first thing there that this is an outdoor geared knife but if we really wanted to if we eliminated pretty much all of this here we could really trim this knife down in the sheath itself and that would make this a much more pocketable fixed blade with that being said this pancake style of sheath here can still go in the pocket and do very well in an edc roll you will have to change out this of course get rid of the tech lock and go with some sort of deep carry clip or an ulti clip but this could be thrown in the pocket now I think where this would really shine would be a scout carry at six o'clock or so. I think this would make a nice knife. It's not too long. Now, depending on your size, it could be a little large for that for some people. But uh, for me, I might end up putting scout straps on this one and trying it out that way. I'm not much for belt carry at, for an EDC knife. If I was strictly using this as an outdoor knife, I would not change the tech lock at all. This is exactly what I would want in an outdoor situation with my fixed blade. So it depends on why you are looking at this. Are you looking at it for an EDC? It can fill that role. It's going to be a little bit larger than, you know, uh, some of these smaller EDC fixed blades that are, you know, going to be geared specifically for EDC. So here are two knives I really hold in high regards for EDC fixed blades. This is the new Real Steel Dax, and this is the Asher Knives Little Buddy, and there are just a few of these left in stock if you've been waiting for one. Uh, a couple were just put into stock, 
Hopefully when you see this, that is still the case, but that might not be the case. So worth checking out, but the Asher Little Buddy and Asher Fixie are the top of the line EDC fix blades for the money, in my opinion. So getting back to the video here, you can see that the Vostede, it's going to be very similar in the handle, but we have quite a bit more when it comes to the blade. Now, some people are going to prefer that extra blade. But one thing I wanted to bring up, we've talked about this many times. If this mink had a taco style sheath like this, it would really slim the profile down a lot. Now, like I said, still completely EDCable with that sheath. It just makes it a lot easier in a sheath such as this. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying it's bad or good one way or the other. One thing that the pancake sheath does offer you is a little bit more versatility just because you do have so many mounting options. And you might be saying, well, where's the other mink? Well, relax, relax. I got it right here. So this is the original mink. And I'll tell you what. If they redesign the sheath for that mink there, this fixed blade is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it cuts extremely well. Comes in Nitro V as well. Same kind of micarta. It's going to be a little bit smaller of a knife. You can see there. Uh, and they did this on purpose. They wanted an XL by feedback from the knife community. The, the community wanted a sheep's foot style blade and they wanted it a little bit larger. So that is what we all got here. And I have no, no problem with that at all, especially being as they have this drop point here, mink in this size. So you can, you know, you got two options there from Vastid, and this is just the start. I have to believe uh, they are Vastid going to be coming hell on high water with EDC fixed blades. I have to believe that, and I think other companies are already on that train. We are going to see in 2025 just an explosion of EDC fixed blades. There's no question, no doubt in my mind, we're going to see a ton of them. Uh, EDC fixed blades, guys, are taking over. Um, there is a lot of curiosity out there with EDC fixed blades. It's a fairly new concept, uh, you know, a true EDC fixed blade. Now, yeah, people have always carried a fixed blade on their belt. That's, that's been around for a long time. But I'm not talking about belt carry. I'm talking about being able to put this fixed blade down in your pocket. That is a huge deal to me and to many other people. Uh, I love the ability and having something like this in my pocket. A fixed blade is going to be much more dependable when it comes to heavier tasks with a, with a cutting tool, right? So a fixed blade is going to get the job done quite a bit better than a folder will. So in my opinion, I think it's great to have a fixed blade in your pocket as well as having a folder in the pocket for those lighter tasks, right? So let's go ahead and see what kind of edge we're looking at. So we got the top of this telephone book cover here just to start us off this thing is razor sharp razor sharp that's me Whew. yeah Ooh, yes. Yeah, and Nitro V takes a nice sharp edge as well. So you could really hone this thing in and get this screaming, screaming sharp. As far as fitment in the sheath, 
I would have mentioned it if I thought there was an issue. Great retention in and great retention out. Nice positive click there and a very nice positive click outward as well. And one thing I like about this is I can grab this fixed blade and be in my grip when I pull it out of the sheath. That's not always the case with every fixed blade, but with this one here, if you got this on the belt or however you're carrying it, you'll be able to grab this thing and be in the grip that you're going to be using to cut. So that is very, very nice and well thought out that that is uh, cut out here so you can get to that standard grip. Great sheath and for, for what the knife is created for, that's a great attachment there as well. Um, you know, if, if I'm Vostede, I am eventually going to make two selections for this knife. Do you want this for an outdoor fixed blade companion knife? Then it's going to come with this sheath right here and this mechanism. If you want this for EDC, we're going to offer a second style of sheath, a taco style sheath with either scout straps or a deep carry clip. That way people really have options for the fixed blades, right? I think that would be an incredibly smart move on their part. And for anyone else who is in the fixed, fixed blade game right now, uh, I, I think it's a huge deal to have options for people. And, you know, it wouldn't even hurt probably to have the option to pick which way you want. What do you want on the sheath? Do you want scout straps, deep carry clip, uh, tech lock? That way you can pick your sheath and you can pick your mounting options. That would be fantastic. Might be a little while till we get there, but I think if and when we get there, it'll be an amazing, amazing day. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think of the Vostede Mink XL? What do you think of the Vostede Mink? Like I said, I will leave links to these knives down in the description, whatever is available. I know there are a few of the XLs still left, but they come and go very quickly. So if it's something you think you want to snag, definitely hop on it because there's no telling when they'll sell out and or how long it'll take for them to get back in. Let me know what you think. Love hearing from you guys either which way. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new here to the channel, I release daily knife and EDC content just like this. Make sure you are subscribed. Ring the bell. That'll notify you anytime I release new content, which I go live every Saturday and Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Everyone is welcome, so stop by and say hello. I would love for you to come by and hang out. I will put up a couple of new videos here, here, and here. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.